Hey everybody, Luke here. Just wanted to do a quick, well, we'll see how quick, video of this component you see here on the screen. I saw this the other day and it got me thinking uh, about that sphere. Uh, got me thinking about this little assembly uh, of these sleeves. I have no idea what this is. It was a pretty cool picture. Uh, but it really got me thinking about the sphere itself and how you locate these four rods that are coming in. So you obviously need, you know, a work axis, you know, pointing at the center of the sphere. You need to locate that. So I'm probably going to eventually model this whole thing, but I want to start out with modeling this sphere. I have no idea what these dimensions are, so we're just going to kind of make it up on the fly. But I want to be able to locate four of these all the way around the quadrants of this. And then I also want to do four of these coming in kind of in this I don't, I'm going to call it a quadrant, but uh, a, a portion of this. And you really only have to do one of them, and then you can mirror it around. So hopefully this will be quicker um, and not take too much time. So let's jump uh, right in. So we're going to do uh, a new, uh, let's do a millimeter standard part file. And let's just start working right on our XZ plane. So we'll put a new sketch there. And let's just draw a circle. And let's just make this, just give me some room to work with, some 500 millimeters. And I could have used a, uh, a primitive to do this. But I just wanted to have a sketch that I can control. So let's trim this up. Get rid of that. And let's drop a dimension. Uh, what does this need? That. It's telling me it needs a dimension. There we go. That's what it needed. I will make uh, the midpoint of this coincident with that midpoint. And let's do a revolve. And we will pick our axis right there. And we'll hit OK. OK, so we have the beginning of our sphere. And let's make this nice and shiny. And let's change our view up a little bit. We'll go with shaded with edges. <coughs> Excuse me. So now, let's get the first set of these done. So we're going to go to this plane. We're going to put a new sketch, F6, F7 to slice our graphics. And this really should be pretty easy. I should be able to do a project cut edges. It's going to grab all of those edges. And I should be able to put a work point at each one of these quadrants. So I should be able to do a work point there. I'll do another work point there. And I may need, do I need some other geometry for this one? Yeah, let's, let's look right at this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to hold these all in place. I want to do this with a sketch, actually. So let's go back and let's add a few lines here. Let's get this first one in. We'll put it right there. Okay, so we have that first work point there. And let's finish that sketch. So what we should be able to do is we should be able to add a point right there. There we go. And then I should be able to do a circular pattern of that work point. And we will go about that axis. And I want four of them. So that's going to hit all my quadrants. So I have a work point there. Yep. And let's just hide that visibility that sketch so we can see those work points alrighty so now that we have those work points in it's the next set of work points that become a little more difficult because it looks like based off of the image they're kind of halfway between each one of these so they're 
you know, 45 degrees, and then it's probably halfway from the midsection to the top of the quadrant. So I got to, I really have to find like this center point right here between uh, the two of those. And, and that should be relatively easy to find this first one. Uh, we'll see how this works out. So let's do a work plane between that axis and that plane and we'll say 45 degrees. Okay, so I have my first, so there is my axis between that point and that point, so that's 45 degrees. And I need to find a point right along that curve. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna try this with a sketch. So let's do a new sketch here. We will slice our graphics. I'm going to project cut edges. And what I should be able to, actually, you know, let's not project cut edges. Let's just draw a circle from the center point to there. There we go. And then what I should be able to do is draw a line from here to there. We'll draw another one from here to here. Let's make these all coincident one with another. And that should be 45 degrees from there to there. And I think uh, it's telling me I need another dimension. So, oh, yep, yeah, that's why. Uh, let's project cut edges and then let's do a coincident of that. And or let's do a coincident with. Um, that point and that edge. There we go. So we're all locked down. And I'll just put a little point right there. Finish sketch. And now I should be able to put a work point right there. There we go. And I should be able to do a circular pattern of that work point. And we're going to do that about that axis. And I need four of those, so that should split the difference. So if I look directly at the top, yep, I have my quadrant ones, I have those. Okay, let's kill the visibility of that one. So now I need to get work axes from these points to the center. So this is gonna get interesting looking at this. Let's shut the visibility of this plane off. And now I'm going to go to my view, visual styles, and oh, that doesn't really do anything for me. Um, mm, mm, mm. Wow, that's really tough to look at. I have no idea. <laughs> I guess this is what you get for working with spheres, right? Um, but it should be relatively easy. So there's my... Okay, let's try this now. So we're going to do a work axis from that point to the center point. Yep, there we go. And I'll do another work axis from that point to that point. Work axis, that point. And I'm just picking the center point in the browser. I could pick that center point, I'm sure. Um, if I went to a transparent and actually just picked it in the window. Uh, but let's do another axis, that point to that point. So there's my four top ones. And I probably don't need all four here. I probably just need two. Or actually, I'll just do a work axis from point to point and point to point. Alrighty, so I have uh, all of my work axes. That was actually a little bit easier than I thought it would be. So now what I could do if I wanted to kind of prepare this model, uh, I could actually create, let's see if I can do a hole. We will do uh, on point and we will pick that point right there. We'll choose the direction using that axis. 
we can flip that direction. We're going to say it's going to be 20 millimeters and it's going to not go through all. Let's actually only make this go 20 millimeters deep and let's actually make this 40 millimeters so it's a little bit bigger. And I probably want to extend the start of this because this is on a curved surface. I don't want to end up with any uh, little pieces left off, so I'll extend the start of this. Uh, I don't think I need to because it's on the outside of a sphere, but just to be safe, uh, we'll hit apply, and there we go. Um, I could do that the rest of the way, around. or I could pattern this. Uh, I really don't have to do all of these, but yeah, that was actually a little bit easier than I thought. So a really I'm not going to say quick tip, but a tip on working with spherical objects and work planes and work axes. Uh, so the next video, we will add in some of the other components and finish up this assembly, whatever it happens to be. Thanks, everybody. Bye.